Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Max and welcome to the Science Grade 2 A class. And today we're going to learn about design solutions to slow landscape changes. Let's begin. All right, so our lesson objectives. Students will review the significance of erosion and realizing how this natural process modifies the location, the shape, and the coloring of a landscape. Two, we're going to understand various methods and designs to slow down the process of erosions and weathering. Now, I here's what we're going to do differently. So there's going to be videos I'm going to post on Seesaw later on, so it can make it easier for all of you to understand what we're going to talk about. So remember, on Seesaw, I want you to click on these links so you can watch the video, these different videos to talk about erosion, weathering, natural disasters, and more. Okay? All right. So our first word is erosion. So we're going to review. So remember, or an erosion. So it says, what happened to your sand mountains when you blew on it? Erosion. Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Sometimes you can see erosion taking place. Moving brown water tells you erosion is happening, right? So the moving brown water. The water is brown because it is carrying soil. Erosion can make it hard for plants to grow. So whenever you see erosions that are happening, you won't see that many plants, right? So let's have a better view. So remember, so this is erosion. So erosion, once again, is when soil is moving from water or basically from water, right? So if you see like running brown water or like mud, that's usually caused by erosion, right? And you don't see that many plants around the erosion. Okay, so again, this will be another video that you're going to watch on Seesaw after this course. So this will be one of your links. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so we have some new vocabulary words. Let me move this here so you can have a better look. So this word is called prevent. Everyone say prevent. Prevent. So prevent means to stop something from happening. So you see the stop sign? So prevent is just it means to stop. <coughs> so number two is solution. Everyone say solution. Okay, so solution see the question mark here. So a solution basically answers your questions or it's a way to solve a problem, a way to answer a question. So next we have a natural resource. Remember natural is basically uh, made from the earth and resource are practically materials or things. So like basically things that are made from the earth are called natural resources. That's why you have the plant, planet here, planet earth. But let's read further. So natural resource, something that grows from or comes from planet Earth. Very simple. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, so we have new vocabulary. Everyone say new vocabulary. So yeah, we got more new vocabulary words. So this one is called structure. Everyone say stru structure. Structure. Hard word, right? Structure. Let's begin. So a structure is an, an organization of elements in a material or objects. Some examples can be buildings, so like buildings, machines, or natural structures like organisms, chemicals, and minerals. We're going to explain that maybe in the next lesson, maybe later on, okay? Function. So a function shows what it does or what it is used for. So that's what a function is. So again, function is shows what it does or what it is used for. Ooh, we got more words. Whew. A lot of words today. So this one is called coastal erosion. Everyone say coastal erosion. So a coastal erosion is an erosion happening near the beach or at the shorelines, near the ocean. Seawall is a wall built between the beach and the ocean. 
So the area is protected from huge waves destroying or causing problems within the coastal space. Breakwater. Breakwater is a very long seawall built around boat harbors to protect the shipping docks from huge waves. Beach grass. Beach grass is grass that is grown on the beach. This plant is necessary preventing erosion towards sand, delaying any chance of floods. Windbreak. Windbreak is when rows of trees or bushes planted next to each other to help prevent soil erosion. Straw wattles. Straw wattles are man-made straws of weed bundled together into a cylinder in order to help protect construction sites. Wattles help reduce water flow speeds and stabilize any construction problems. All right, so I'm going to show you pictures that makes it easier for you to understand what those vocabulary words were. Because I know those words were too big. Okay, so this one is called coastal erosion, right? So coastal erosion, so if you see, anytime you see uh, land and the ocean together, this is called coast. It's called a coast. Now you see this rock right here, this huge boulder. This boulder used to be here on the coast. But because of erosion, the boulder was ripped apart from the coast and now it's sinking into the ocean. So anytime you see, and there's another one here. So anytime you see any boulders falling apart from the coast, it's called coastal erosion. Next. Okay. Now this one is windbreak. Now if you see here, look at these rows of trees, right? These rows of bushes here. You see the trees, you see the bushes. So this prevents the wind from eroding the ground, right? So this is like more like wind control. So if you see like huge wind blowing over the land, the trees and the bushes will protect the field from the wind. So that's why the bushes and the trees are called windbreak. Beach grass. All right, so we have beach grass. So beach grass are basically just the grass being grown uh, from the coast, right? Okay, breakwater. So breakwater is this long harbor right here that you see on the ocean. So this is called breakwater right here. Okay. Next is breakwater video example. Uh, I'll probably show you this. Why not? I think it's short. So this is a breakwater example. So it shows you what a breakwater does. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so this is called a seawall. Now, a seawall is also built along the coast, and it kind of prevents huge waves or tsunamis or just big tidal waves or big tides going over the coast. That's why we have seawalls right here. Straw wattles. So these are straw wattles that you see here. So straw wattles basically helps the construction sites or buildings from being affected by uh, water erosions or wind erosions or any or construction sites getting slippery from the ground the straw wattles will help prevent that okay so let's keep it going so it says ways to slow landscape changes so this is very important it says ocean water crashes against a coast you see the water is crashing against the coast on this page. This can wear down a beach over time. Strong winds carry away bits of soil on a farm. This can make it hard for crops to grow. People can prevent or help stop erosion. Some methods use natural resources or things that come from earth. People can plant plants along the coast. They can also use rocks to block the waves. Farmers plow curved rows of fields on hills. The rows help block water from flowing down the hill. People can plant plants along the, host, the coast. They can also use rocks to block waves. 
That's right. Farmers plow curved roads of fields on hills. The rows, the rows help block water from flowing down the hill. Farmers also plant windbreaks. See the windbreaks? A windbreak is a row of trees that helps block the wind. Windbreaks protect the soil or the ground. Okay, so let's keep it going. All right. So it says, each year the ocean waves, here's the ocean, get closer to the house because of erosion. Erosion happens when water moves sand, soil, or rocks. Natalie and Robert each create a plan that uses a dam to stop the ocean waves from getting closer to the house. Natalie's plan used sandbags to build the dam between the house and the ocean. Robert's plan used sticks to build the dam because the house and the hill between the house and the hill. Compare both plans and find the plan that will solve the problem. Tell why the plan solves the problem. So you need to tell me whose plan is better, Natalie's plan or Robert's plan. And you need to tell me why. So this will be one of your lessons on Seesaw. Okay, so question time. So this also that you need to put on Seesaw, it says, explain why the straw wattles are on the hill. Why do you see straw wattles on the hill? Let's keep it going. It says, a day in the life of a civil engineer. All right. So it says, Mark Webb is a civil engineer. So this is one of your new vocabulary words. A civil engineer manages construction projects like what you see on the bridges. These projects can include roads and bridges. They can also be projects about water supply, treatment, and power lines. Okay, we got some more questions. So this will be on Seesaw. Number one, it says, how could planting beach grass help prevent wind erosion? Also, why is it important for people to find solutions to erosion? Why is that important? Please let me know. All right, and we got one more. All right, so this one says prevent, solution, and natural resource. So you need to tell me which one of these words matches in the box. So you can put a line or you can just write the word in the box so I know. So this one says something that comes from earth that people use to keep something from happening, the answer to a problem. All right, so tell me which one fits the word and that is all for now. Okay, bye everybody. And I hope you guys would do the seesaw work and I will see you next week. Bye.